Hello everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you a few different ways that you can add facial expressions to your portrait pictures. For this, I'm going to use Playground AI. If you don't have that set up or don't know what that is, you can come to my playlist called Playground AI where I have different videos explaining all its different features. And if this is your first time to my channel, please go to my playlist section to find the videos that are most relevant to you. Alright, let's get started. So if you go to the homepage of PlaygroundAI.com, you're going to see a lot of different kinds of portrait pictures that are trending. What I've noticed is a lot of these pictures are kind of expressionless. So if you see this portrait pictures, this is the kind of pictures I've seen a lot. And I think that's by design. I don't think uh, Bella here was trying to make her smiling or happy or anything like that. But that's exactly what I'm going to teach you in this video. For today's video, I'm going to do variations of this picture by U1. It's a portrait of Alina. I don't know who Alina is, but this is a really good portrait to work with. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to download this picture. But I'm not going to use that picture directly. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to do a remix of that picture. That kind of builds up the main prompt structure and it says the generated image might not be exactly the same if you're trying to remix it. The image is probably not going to be exactly like this. So let's try it out. So I'm going to do one generation of a portrait of Alina. But like I expected here, the portrait picture, even though it's really nice, is not the same as this one. This is just a different kind of variation of a portrait of Alina. But I don't want to use this picture directly. I want to use a remixed version of that picture, which is going to be original for me. So instead, a better way to do this is actually to just use an image to image and select that picture. And I'm going to do an image strength of say 80 and do another single generation. And I'm going to keep everything else the same. So now you see this is a different variation of a portrait of Alina, but this is very similar to this one, right? They're not exactly the same, but they're of the same style. So the facial expression I'm going to work with today is a smile. So as you see, this picture is kind of expressionless or stoic. I don't really know what's going on in her mind. Like maybe she has had a bad day or a good day. I don't really know. It looks like a very neutral expression, which works really good for portraits really. But this video is about adding expressions. So the first way of doing that is actually just mentioning smiling. So there's a couple of issues that might happen when you try this out and I'll show you both of them. But let me try generating a smiling portrait of Alina with everything else the same. I'm going to click generate. Both of these pictures are pretty similar and you might be wondering why because you requested a smiling portrait of Alina, right? So the issue here is you have your image to image in place and you have your image strength pretty high. So it's still trying to replicate this expression and regardless of what you put here, it's not going to add that strong of a smile because your image strength is set at 80. And that's the first issue. Now, let me try changing the image strength to say 50 and see if that fixes it. Let's try generating again. All right, so there seems to be a small smile added. I don't know if that is as strong as I wanted. And also the face changed, right? This doesn't look like the same person as this one. Uh, now there's things you can do with seeds here, but I'm not gonna go there. I'm gonna keep this video about expressions. So the issue here is if you reduce your image strength too low, then it's gonna go too far from this character. It's still, it might add this smile, but it's gonna change this character quite a bit. So if I reduce this image strength to say 20 and regenerate again, so what's happening here is if you try a prompt with a specific kind of expression like this and you have a lot of other things going on in the prompt along with exclusions, it's hard to tell the prompt that you really want to emphasize this expression. And with Playground AI at least, I have not seen a way to do that on the main generation. But there's of course a better way of generating a smile on your portraits without uh, changing your characters or losing details on your characters. This time, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to actually open this picture on my editor. A way to add the smile is actually add a mask. So I'm going to add a mask right on her eyes and her lips. So if you don't know what I'm doing here, go to my video on my playlist called AI image editor and that's where I explain this process. I'm going to do a prompt saying smile and do a generate. All right, now I have a big smile. I think she's clearly very happy here, but it almost looks like a different person. Um, if you remove the mask, you know what I'm saying? Like this looks like a different character. You might have to adjust the mask a little bit. So let me try this mask a bit more carefully. 
and do this right here. Let me try adding her, her, her chin as well to see if that changes anything and do another generate. All right, now I think there's some more chin action going on in the smile, but you see what I mean. This is a much stronger smiling picture of Alina. I don't like it quite a bit, but that's because of other reasons. I, I don't think her eyes and her nose matches the rest of the face as well. So I have an even better way of adding an expression without changing her face. All I do is I'm just gonna put the mask on her lips and keep everything else the same. All right, now I have a picture of Alina smiling. This seems to be more of a real smile, but there's some issues here, of course, because uh, I think there's some misshapen teeth or her lips are a bit mismatched here. But you see what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to add an expression on a specific part of her face, and that is possible by experimenting with masks. If you try the same thing by putting the mask on her eyes instead of her lips, it's gonna try to make her eyes a bit more smiley. So it's gonna, let's try it. All right, there was some change in her eyes, like you see. Uh, I think this is slightly more squinted as if you're trying to smile. These are kind of neutral. There's nothing happening in the lower part of her eyes like this one. So you do need to experiment a bit and do some editing because here you see the colors of the eyeballs changed a little bit as well. But I think the secret of expressions is experimenting with the mask because you can try out the same character with different expressions by keeping most of the face the same and adding your mask to strategic sections. So if you want to squint the nose or if you want to do a wink on one eye, but keep everything else the same. I think this is the way to go. Let's try the same thing but using this image where her eyes have a little bit of a smile and let me add the mask on her lips this time. Alright so it did change the picture a bit. I think maybe this one looks like it has more makeup and this one looks a bit more real. Together I think this is a bit more expressive in my opinion than this one. But that was the point of this video. But I hope you understand how you can use this mask to experiment with facial expressions. There's going to be a lot of them which don't work though. So be prepared for 50% of them to not work out. But I think the ones which do work out can be used for a set of expressions for the same character. But I hope you got some value from this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Till the next video, thank you so much.